Hello, this is Michelle and I, and here is your May Astrology. Now, I was talking to someone the other day who said to me, Michelle, you never ask anyone to subscribe, like, or share, and you should. So, from the bottom of my heart, I'm asking you, please, would you like the videos if you like it? Press the button, or would you subscribe or share them? I really would appreciate it. Now, here's your May Astrology. This is the astrological update for Virgo for the whole of May. Now I have to say, I've got a lot of compassion for you at the moment, Virgo. You seem to have gone through almost a dark night of the soul. You were dealing with an awful lot of energy which was about your primal emotions, fear, uh, obsession, desire, life, death, rebirth, all of these maybe themes that you've experienced last month. This month though, it's all changed, thank goodness, and you are feeling as if you're coming through something and, and you want to expand and you want to experience life and you want to have an adventure and you want to express your soul and actually things should be jolly and adventurous and much more exciting at least for the first 20 days of this month now okay we have mercury your ruler going retrograde and of course that's always a big deal for you when mercury goes retrograde you are cast back into the past there may be a lot of conversations that you're having with people from the past Actually, you might be talking to people from different cultures, different countries. You may be going back to, to look at something that you studied before and you want to communicate with somebody from the past. And maybe that's a necessary thing. But don't let the past rule your future. You know, if the past is meant to be the past, let it go and move on. If you've got any spring cleaning to do in your past, then that's going to happen this month. Even your, even, you know, Mars is retrograde. Even our energy is going backwards at the moment. Having said that, you've got Sun, Trine, Jupiter. Jupiter's in your sign, so good fortune is coming your way. Jupiter is even going backwards, but fortunately that changes on the 10th. And that's when you start to feel back to yourself in a way. You feel that anything is possible. You feel that you've got potential. You feel that you can transform your life. And you have that inner strength come back to you probably quite early on, actually. The new supermoon is in your position of adventure and learning and unusual eccentric people, and ex exploring your own eccentricities. You, you'll be feeling quite emotional, quite spontaneous, quite feisty on that day. We then have Venus trying Jupiter. You, I think you have a lot of potential for romantic adventures this month and connecting with people that are different or feeling that you just wanna be a little bit free when it comes to love and, and expressing yourself in new ways. Even if you've been in a 20 year stable relationship, you're able to bring something unusual to the table this month and possibly you'll go on an adventure with your partner. If you're single, you can meet someone from a different culture, a different land, a different background, or somebody very, very different to you that delights you. Their difference delights you, even though it's not necessarily something you might have um, been drawn to before. Now on the 20th, the sun is entering your position of career and the energy is, is starting to head towards you thinking about your career or your sense of self-worth. And you're, you're, you're thinking, mm, actually my confidence is growing. And there could be some very positive things happening, particularly after the 23rd with your career and you're feeling strong and powerful and that you can handle it. And if things haven't been going very well career-wise, career that should pick up then. There may be some discussions with your family which get a bit tricky, but you're thinking about your family and your home and how and what you want to commit to. And you're also allowing yourself to commit to things that are important to you. Perhaps you're spending more time with family members, perhaps you're deciding to do something one day a week which is emotionally good for you and that your needs are met within that time and that's also very important. This is a wild and free-spirited month that heals the wounds of last month and it's a time for you to get back in the game and get back journeying, adventuring and exploring the unusual. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk. Take care.